Okay, so the way you want to start this is selecting ASP.core, hit next, and um, uh, rename the project, and then point it to the repo where we're going to store it on our local machine. Go to MVC. So, this is what the regular project look like. Let me go over to the controller, take a look at that. Yeah, we're going to be sticking a Google map into a view. We'll use the index page because we don't need all of this. My mouse is acting up. And we'll start from scratch here. And we're just going to simply add a pay, um, Google Map to this website. So with this blank index page, we'll uh, slap together some sort of AP, uh, very rudimentary layout. We know that um, that Bootstrap was automatically included in this application. Mm -hmm. and we'll, um, we'll uh, uh, divide it into two sections. I, So the map will be on one side and some text will be on the other side. So. And um, I, I don't know. Here we will do map stuff. So let me just zoom us in. <laughs> and so if you understand bootstrap, you understand that this will be on the left side, this will be on the right side. Let's take a look at what it is. <laughs> and as expected this is the result we're expecting to get here my world view and this is where we're going to be putting the map stuff now working with the google maps api it's all in javascript and you need to get your own api key um, and this is the address to go ahead and Navigate here and it will take you to the instructions on how to get your API key. Now, once you get there, just follow these instructions and it will take you on how to create your API key. And then we'll just continue on coding. Okay, so you start off first. Uh, let's just be clear. I've done this before, but we're going to be following the instructions from um, Google Maps. We can stick this inside of our core application. Let's see the text. So, according to these instructions, you uh, go ahead and put your map ID in there. the JavaScript and uh, this right here is uh, hold on I'm going to do 
do some of the formatting here. This is this year's the longitude and latitude, well, latitude and longitude of location you're looking at that you're trying to get the map to center in. The zoom eight, that's how close it's going to be. Um, we're not done yet. And here's a real important part. Adding this script. Now, in your case, you put your key here. I'll use mine that I recently created or uh, discovered I, I've done it before. And um, once you put your key in here, you see the fur, quantity uh, instructions, all of that should work. Oh, one more thing before you start recording here, before you start um, putting stuff here. You have to give, uh, define the area in which the map is going to come in. Uh, made some little quick modification here. Um, so I'll run it now. There we go. Like to do something interesting here. Nassau, Bahamas. Let's go ahead and get the latitude and longitude for those. site. Oh no, these are the... So we're gonna go replace those. If we're doing the right thing. Just to play around with it, but very easy to get it up and running. Come on. Hey, there's Nassau. Kind of zoom we want on this. Alright, we'll uh, also gonna take up some more room on the map. Yeah, let's make it uh, with. But you can see how easy it is to just get started here. And what kind of zone? <laughs> but I think the point is made. It's very easy. Thank you very much. Now, sometimes I know it's unfair to show you um, stuff that's just like a demo because it's really ugly. But <laughs> um, this is a real life. Uh, project I'm working on right now and as you can see that map is very well pronounced there so this layout is not finished but at least you can see how it's integrating into an actual application uh, for use in the marketplace Alright, 
you know, keep sharing the good stuff. As I add more functionality to what this map is going to do, I will, I will try to share that information as best as I can. So, just keep checking me out, man. <laughs> Hey, if you found this video very helpful, click the like button below. And please don't be shy to subscribe to Nerdhouse Geeks. We are constantly updating this channel with new and interesting content. If it's more convenient for you to see us on Facebook, please like our page. And when we have updates, we put them on Facebook. And you'll be informed there as well, too. And to the entire LinkedIn community, thank you very much for your support. We also have a company page up there that you can follow and we'll keep content updated there as well. So thank you very much.